So I was raised to be a nice, polite person. I have table manners. I hold doors for people. I give compliments. I'm not really a disagreeable person as far as I know. And something I've been wondering is, can you be the nice guy and not get taken advantage of? Can you be a nice, good person and also get what you want? At least in my experience, there seems to be a lot of people that don't have a problem exploiting someone's politeness. Maybe I should just take a step back and say, there are a lot of people that like to take advantage of people. So like an example of someone taking advantage of someone else like in a conversation, um, just as simple as interrupting a lot, talking over them. I've noticed that a lot of people just love to hear themselves talk. And you're probably just sitting there thinking, haha, this guy's talking about people loving to hear themselves talk when he's just sitting alone in a car talking to a camera. Okay, for the record, I don't like listening to myself talk. I hate the sound of my voice and I'm just doing this because there are a lot of topics that I don't hear covered enough and so I'm doing this for you guys of course. Duh. My point is just like those people that they could talk for hours. Have you ever met anyone like that that could just talk for hours and hours and hours and the person they're talking to or rather the, the person they're talking at doesn't even need to say anything like not even yeah okay or the typical man that's crazy the fact that you could just stay silent for a large amount of time and someone can still talk i think that's an issue i'm not an expert in personalities or psychology or anything like that so i don't really know if it's like narcissistic because everyone seems to be throwing that word around self-centered i guess i don't know i mean maybe it's just me i'm a pretty polite person and maybe that's why i've met so many people that could just talk for hours and it's hard to know like how to shut them up in the last like month I can think of two instances where I was at the store trying to decide what I was going to buy like at the counter and there was an elderly gentleman that just like tried to strike up a conversation with me as if we were like friends and I'm all for being friendly and stuff like I I didn't want to be rude but he was like trying to like engage in like small talk when I was next in line trying to order and stuff and he wasn't even in line or anything he was just standing off to the side and I was like, are you this oblivious that you have no idea that you're not only like wasting my time, but you're distracting me from what I'm trying to do. I'm happy to have a conversation like after I'm done buying what I'm trying to buy, but right in the moment when I'm next in line and there's people behind me waiting and the employee of the store is waiting too, why do some people think that's the best time to engage in a conversation, especially with a stranger? That's just so weird to me and I can't stress this enough. I love talking with people, like actually having engaging conversations and I love meeting people and you know, there's a time and place. I don't really understand that. I highly doubt it's intentional though. I don't think people wake up in the morning and think I can't wait to go to the store and just waste someone's time I just cannot wait this is gonna be awesome I don't know maybe there are but I don't think that was their intent I think they're maybe they're just lonely I mean since the pandemic I've noticed a decline in my social abilities I think I've gone soft I don't stand up for myself as much as I used to and I'm not as bold and I don't really like that but how do I practice that when we're supposed to be social distancing, we have masks on, and I don't know, that's just really interesting. I've had door-to-door -door jobs before where I come in contact with people daily and, you know, have to talk, like, have to know what to say on the spot. I've noticed a, a difference in my social ability with how I interact with people. I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of at a, a social low point. I'm wondering if anyone else feels like they're at a social low because of the pandemic and lockdowns and stuff like that. You know, people online are great. It's it's amazing how many friends you can make on the internet, on social media, on forums and all that stuff. That's amazing, but it's just not the same as talking to a person face to face. So I'm trying to figure out how to fix this and I don't really know if talking to the camera is helping, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> pun intended. Has that happened to anyone? I'm sure it has. How how do you deal with that? Like of course there are people out there that are so bold, they could just say, Dude, not now. I guess that's not even that rude. Maybe I'm just way too nice. I'm too polite. So it's probably a me problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, I know it's not just a me problem, but I'm also included in that. Like, I do need to stand up for myself. Maybe I'll look up ways to be more assertive and that could probably solve the problem, right? Can you guys hear, can you hear it raining? Hello guys. Another thing I just remembered is I hate when people manipulate questions like oh you you can help me on friday right instead of asking can you help me on friday or i don't do something and someone's like oh you didn't want to do that maybe that's the case but i just don't like this way of like 
manipulative manipulative or like assumptive assumptive assumption based questions or like manipulative questions i don't know i don't know what else to call it but i don't like those and then there are some people that just want explanations for everything and i don't mean free thinkers that question things or just straight up curious people that question things. I've noticed there are people that just want people to explain themselves all the time. And the nice people turn into suckers and they just, I mean, they feel obligated to explain themselves no matter what they do. Have you noticed like content creators, influencers, they're like, oh, sorry, I haven't uploaded in three days. You know, it's, it's just been so stressful. And we're just like, nobody even asked. Does that mean they think people are just waiting around all day every day waiting for them to upload like they're that important to people's lives why do they feel the need to explain themselves or like apologize for you know not posting on the day they said they were going to or I mean what it, maybe it's not even that maybe they haven't even committed to a schedule and they're just apologizing because I mean, are they fishing for compliments? Like, they want people to be like, Oh, don't worry. Like, I love every time you post. Oh my gosh, it's totally fine. Don't even worry about it. I feel like they're kind of related. Like, being a nice person, being non-confrontational, and feeling like you need to explain yourself. I thought about doing separate videos, but I'm just putting them all together. And if you don't like it, yikes. Oh crap, Maria's coming. That's her. Hi guys, it's me. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, do you good die great. <laughs> Amazing words spoken from a true wisdom. Okay, bye. I filmed this outro so many times, so I'm just gonna say thanks for watching this video. My name's Ricky, I'm in charge of this channel. And if you wanna watch something similar to this that you'll probably like, I'm gonna link it right here. It's my most recent video, other than this, called Leaving People on Red. And if you have problems texting people back or no one really texts you back, you should probably check out that video and then you'll feel validated either way, no matter who you are. Bye. Obviously, since I turned the camera on, I'm thinking of, I can't, can you be a nice person and get the things that you want? Do you have to be a, a meanie head, but not get taken advantage of? Can both those things exist? Your nice, your, can your politeness and... You wanna know something to a large number of people that are okay exploring... Ow, I bit my tongue again. They just don't... It's hard to say. Why is it hard to say? I think I thought of an example. I think... I forgot it. I forgot the example. I can't remember. Oh, I think I remembered it now. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, I feel so strongly about this, I just have to... I actually don't like the sound of my voice. <laughs> you don't even need to say... You don't even... I'm not a psychologist expert or really an expert in a lot of things. <laughs> I was at the store and like ready to like order, not order, but don't park next to me. They're not parking next to me, good. Don't kill my light. This is pretty good lighting, I think. All right, what was I saying? I don't even know. It's raining out here. Screw Portland, am I right? It's really hard to be happy when outside looks like this. Like, what the heck? What is this place? It's nice to have greenery, but like, screw the rain. Some people love it, Marcos. Oh shit. Maria's calling. Oh, I was on a roll. Can you hear the soft pitter patter of rain? Is it calming? Is it is it soothing to you to hear the rain? Does that put you to sleep or is it annoying? Uh but okay. Thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do.